Hey, yeah, come on in, man. We're going up. We're just we're filming YouTube. So, uh, Fantastic. Yeah. Well, let me ask you guys. If we hover a drone in here and we hit the elevator and it goes up, would the, would the drone go with the elevator and the column of air or would it uh, go is, down? Is it going to stay still yeah. and the elevator going to move? I say no. I say it drops down as it goes up. It's a great question. Will this follow the elevator or will it keep its position in space as the elevator goes down? What do you think is going to happen, Dana? I think it's just going to be just like me and you sitting in here. Yeah. It's just going to go right with us. So you think it'll follow the column of air? Yes. Since it's flying in the air. All right, let me get a stable hover and hit the number. Hit it. Oh, I didn't do that. You didn't? No, I didn't. Interesting. All right, got a stable hover. Got a stable. Stable. All right, let's go back to the fourth floor. Oh, I'll be darned. How about that? I was not expecting that at all. We got to do, we got to do one more. We're going down this time, right? Yeah. All right, all right, do it. Wow, no way. <laughs> I think that experiment is done. I think you're right. Dude. I, and I proved myself wrong. I am shocked. Me too. I didn't think there'd be any difference whatsoever. It just sat there. You know, like like when a, there's a fly in your car. Yeah. The fly, when you accelerate, the fly doesn't hit the back window. It goes with the Maybe column. Maybe we're just not accelerating fast enough. <laughs> we'll try it one more time. <laughs> Let me get it to super stable hover. All right, go. Wow! How about that, man? Well, there you go. Physics, man. There's no mystery any longer. Uh-uh. In order for me to wrap my head around this, I had to remind myself about Newton's second law that says, the acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force in the same direction as the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object, the object in this case being the drone. Inertia describes an object's resistance to change in motion. When the elevator moves, it does bring the air column along with it, but the drone simply slips through the column of less dense air, thus only appearing to rise or fall from the perspective of observers in the elevator. However, if the elevator was filled with water, and instead of a drone there was a neutrally buoyant fish, said fish would indeed rise and fall in concert with the elevator because water is 830 times more dense than air, which is why your goldfish doesn't slam to the bottom of his bowl when you carry him upstairs. And that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's that same dude. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, if you need to come, come on in. Come on in. Yeah. We're just... Uh, Going up, down. 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 So we're flying a drone in here. Yeah, I see that. Hovering. And then when the elevator moves, do you think that the, the drone would go with the column of air? Or will it go, stay when the elevator moves? Would it move? Like if the elevator goes up, would this go down? Oh, interesting. Uh, it'll go according to the elevation. So it will follow the column of air? Yeah. So far, not. No? Yeah, really? yeah. Because that's exactly what we thought. <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought, yeah. <laughs>